everybody. Your boy here to give you a review for Love Hip Hop New York Season 8, Episode 3, entitled Bodied. Alright, so if I didn't already say it, I'm not talking about Yandy, even though she wasn't on this episode, but she'll be on the next one that I'm about to review in a minute. And I'm not talking about Lobo. <clears throat> not doing it. Real talk, like after RB Divas, I didn't see if I after that. Y'all know I say chat was ain't sexy because they ain't. And even after all the shit with Chrisette Michelle, mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't even fuck with a more like that. Plus, and her fucking, you know what? No, I'm not even do that because I'm looking raggedy as fuck right now. Let me not do that. But I will say in her confessional, she was she was looking like a young Deb Atner. Anyway. Mariah Lynn meets up with Dream Doll. Mariah Lynn, pretty much, long story short, she's gonna try to get James all one more chance. Navarro and Aes meet up. She keeps calling um, Ashley a bitch. Keep throwing around a bitch word. And I was here for Navarro when he was just like, all right, look, we're gonna start throwing around that bitch term. The only thing is, I'm unsure of their relationship because he called Ashley his partner, but didn't say wifey. Or Ashley didn't say that's my wife. So I don't know, but whatever. <clears throat> but you know, she her whole thing is she's mad because she's been in this game, you know, been done wrong, whatever. But she has a name, like she's actually done some shit, and she feels disrespected. So that's what she tells him. Now we got Sophie the body and James. So he's at a spa, meets up with her at a spa to talk business. I, right. and he wants her to be in his music video. From what she is saying, she is done being a video vixen. She's now working on being a DJ and a producer. I think even the artist, too. She agrees to do the video with him under one condition. That condition is that he has to be in her video. So now we got Navarro and Rich, and they talk. And Navarro pretty much tells about the situation he got going on. Rich pretty much is like, look, man, I done been down this road before with Erica Mina and Olivia. <laughs> this shit, it's only going to end one way. So it's only like, it's best you nip this shit in the butt now before it gets to the point of where my shit got to. And of course, Rich will be the one to know. Normally, I'm not here for people asking Rich. Okay, Creep Squad extraordinaire. I don't, I'm not really used to people asking him for advice, but that was some sound advice right there. And Navarro was just like, okay, he gonna do that. And might I mention, we ain't seen Creep Squad form. I, I think the Creep Squad is done with. Praise God. So <clears throat> let me see. Juju meets up with Remy. I said, oh, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm also not gonna talk about Remy's situation either. But I'm gonna bring up Juju for the sake of they were talking about in vitro, and she mentions that when she was with Cameron that. They tried in vitro many different times. It didn't work. And for a while, she felt like it was her fault. And like she was less of a woman because she couldn't give him a child, even though he has one. But she couldn't get she couldn't give him one herself. <clears throat> and her whole thing is just letting Remy know, like, in vitro may not take the first time. So you, you need to know that. Not sit here and give her any doubt, but just like understand this is a possibility. I'm still trying to figure out where the fuck her book at, but that's not here nor there. Um, Dream Doll, Bree, Silva, and Jaque all meet up. So pretty much Dream Doll says that Bianca came to her event with a crew of some big bitches, let her tell it, to get at Bree. So now she has an issue with Bianca. Not that she hate her, but like you came to my event and turned up. So she feels that she needs to go talk to, you know, Bianca. To try to, you know, dead the situation. <clears throat> so Ashley, Navarro, and Aiz meet up. And Ashley feels disrespected. And Aiz trying to figure out, like, why do you feel disrespected? And she's just like, because you sent my man naked picture. She's like, well, he has to see my body before I, you know, do any type of thing. Like I said, but okay, it is nothing personal. Hell, at some point, you going to see me naked. You know, like I said, we are family. And trying to push this whole family thing. Just like we need to, you know, love each other, respect each other. But we don't need to fight. She said some more shit. I really couldn't grasp what it was she was saying. But apparently, Ashley did. And I think that's all that matters. Okay. Uh, and they all made up. So now we got Dream Doll and Bianca. I didn't like Dream Doll. Like, I never watched Bad Girls Hope. So I can't judge her based off that. But I didn't like how off rip she's just telling me, like, you wrong, you wrong. This, ten the third. Calling her a troll maker. So it's just like, well... 
I'm just saying if I come into a motherfucking situation that I don't know nothing about and you come at me like this, well, then, yeah, we, we, yeah we're probably going to have an issue. And, you know, Bianca whole thing is just like nobody knows the real reason that she is upset with me. At this point, it is they probably could squash this shit, but it's so much animosity that it's probably not going to happen. But, you know, she even said that <clears throat> I gave her an opportunity. But she came and me left, which she kind of did. Because it could have just been real, you know, mutual. But she came in, you know, with the yip yap. And, hey, I mean, it is what the fuck it is. Bianca got at that ass. And she's just like, it is what the fuck it is. A motherfucker keep talking shit. You just going to sit there? And Dream Doll is like, well, don't pop off on her around me. <laughs> and Bianca was like, but I did. <laughs> I nip out holler. I nip out fail. The fuck out that shit right there was funny. That shit was hilarious. So, Dream Doll threw Mariah Lynn in there, pretty much saying, well, since Mariah Lynn is her friend, them being, you know, friends and whatnot, and she being friends, Dream Doll being friends with Brie, she's pretty much trying to equate it to, well, it's automatically going to be a problem, which is like, Mariah Lynn ain't had shit to do with any of this. So, of course, Dream Doll Bree really doesn't have a storyline other than trying to fuck Safari. So, hey, she's trying to solidify her spot, but you're not on the opening credits. Moving on. So, so James off old shoot. You know, Mariah Lynn walks in. First thing out of Sophia Body's mouth is, I thought y'all weren't together, which was good. She probably should have said that one more again. But... Mariah Lynn is feeling some kind of way and this is one of those where it is a Mona production so I can't forget that now but Mariah Lynn sits on the bed and pretty much you see her advancing slowly towards Sophia right there Sophia you got you had the game all the way fucked up you don't never let somebody close the gap on you <laughs> but she did and she was like was he trying to get at you she was just like yeah and then she's like, okay. So then Mariah Lynn asked her, so you knew about me? And that's where Sophia fucked it up. She was like, well, if you let me talk, and I don't know if she did that on purpose of she almost forgot the script. I don't fucking know. But she shouldn't have said that, I guess, because now Mariah Lynn, instead of sitting hauling off on James, which, granted, I mean, women should never fucking put... Actually... Men should not put their hands on women. Women should not put their hands on men. Keep your damn hands to yourself. But in this instance, if you was going to haul off on anybody, it should have been that nigga and not her. But she went and she didn't really punch it, but she kind of like grazed her like this almost. They fell on the ground. She pulled the head a little bit. It is what the fuck it is. James said he done with her. She said she done with him. She said, Gwyneth, bitch. And she did a little nursery rhyme that scene with her and that's all the fuck it was. So that's the episode. That's my review. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys back momentarily for the very last video. And that's it for me for the day. I ain't, I ain't doing no more fucking, I ain't doing shit else. Fuck it. All right, bye.